Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. In this reading, we are going to get you some important general messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Important general messages for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius today. swords and in reverse at the bottom of the deck okay so i've got a big cup right here <laughs> ace of cups and also we've got the nada cups these two cards actually came out in earth signs reading so for some of you it could be dealing with a virgo capcom taurus can be any sign and these are water pisces cancer scorpio you can deal with any signs all right but what i'm seeing here is there is an offer of love ace of cups Again, roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. But right now, uh, we'll talk about love first since we've got these two cups here. It feels like there could be somebody or it could be you. Someone here wants to offer love. Seven of Wands here in reverse. Reverse, deciding to put the card down and just go with your gut feelings, right? With a high priestess. Some of you, maybe it's, you know, spirits trying to tell you to go with your gut feelings, go with your intuition, trust your intuition, or it could be your person feeling that they need to go with your intuition, trust their intuition, and then offer you love with the Ace of Cups here. We've got the Four of Wands here. It feels like also someone may have faith that, you know what? We can build something together, perhaps, you know, these are four ones. Number four indicates a stability. So for some of you, someone could be thinking, you know what? Maybe this connection after a period of time of observation with the seven of pentacles here, perhaps both of you can actually build something together. Okay. And four ones indicates marriage as well. For some of you, it's a proposal coming in. Whether it's you proposing to your person or your person proposing to you. And Ten of Swords here and Lover, it feels like a promise to not hurt the other person again, right? Maybe someone is coming in to apologize to you or to tell you that they will not hurt you again like they did before. Or unless, and it may or may not have anything to do with this person, right? Could be somebody here whom may have been hurt in the past, have been has been dealt with bad cards when it comes to um, love and someone may be promising that they will never ever hurt them like what these other people uh, have done <laughs> okay so but um anyway just take what resonates with you if this has something to do with love i feel like again the hermit here in my first indicates somebody is coming out of their hermit mode and uh, will be wanting to offer love but the king of pentacles here is in love first though so it feels like maybe there could be someone whom has stopped investing in this connection and that could have led to one person here you know offering love and thinking maybe it's time for them to take actions towards you or you towards them if this has something to do with your finances or your career, seven on one, seven on first, seven on pentacles, if you've been waiting, for those of you, I feel like seven pentacles, it can indicate investment or hard work that you've been putting into uh, you know, your career. I feel like eventually you will see the outcome and it's a good outcome. Ace of Cups feels like you're going to be very happy with the outcome and with the Knight of Cups. I don't know why this cup to me looks like a trophy right now. It looks like a trophy. Some of you, uh, if you've been working really hard again, so pentacles here, and finally you can breathe, right? With a hermit, you finish a project or finish something. Um, I feel like you're going to be awarded. Uh, you're going to be recognized, a knowledge for a job well done. And even though you could have gotten paid more <laughs> with the king of pentacles in my first, but I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of you, you, you work not just because of the money, it could, well, of course, we all work for money. We want, we've got bills to pay, right? But also, I feel like with the hearts, the cups, which to me indicates 
your heart, I feel like comes from the right place. And maybe this is why people recognize it and people, it could be anybody, people recognizing your hard work and how passionate you are, how much how much um, effort that you've been putting in this in, in, in your work, in your career, hence I feel like you are going to be awarded something here. It feels like these two, it's like a trophy of some of you, maybe it's you, could be you being a dancer, working really hard, and after your performance, everybody, you know, is congratulating you and telling you that you, just an example, not saying everybody is a dancer, but I definitely sense you being recognized for something. I feel like deep down, you're going to be very happy. The high priestess, four of wands, ten of swords, and lovers finally get some time to rest, uh, get some time to be, uh, you, you might have more time to spend at home relaxing. <laughs> that's what i'm getting that's for some of you if this has something to do with your career but the king of pentacles in reverse also can be an indication of for some of you you might be spending some money to chase after your dream or to to, to get something new something shiny right if you look at the trophy here it's like something shiny something new something shiny could be a new car could be a, a new jewelry could be a new pair of shoes bags anything You'll be spending some money here. I feel like with the King of Pentacles and Mother, some of you are spending some money for your home because we got the four ones here. Or also doing some charity with the High Priestess. Mm -hmm. So, multiple messages here to state what resonates with you. Let's see more uh, fire signs. Yep, see, charity, Six of Pentacles, some of you, you're doing charity or that you're helping somebody, helping people, uh, may not always mean money, could be through advice, through support. Six of Pentacles also can indicate for some of you, if you've been applying for your loan, um, I see you get an answer with the Ace of Swords here, your loan will be approved, could be a loan to buy a house for once or a business loan. And you've been waiting for some answers with the page of swords here or applying for anything, anything that you think that will, that can benefit you or that you can use that thing to either make more money or to live in the country. It could be visa, it can be anything. All right, so we've got the three of pentacles here, more pentacles. So this may be an indication of your money situation or work situation. Three of pentacles indicates you're working with people. I feel like... Um, Yep, let, let, let me bring out a few more cards. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like when it comes to work, Three of Pentacles, people you work with, uh, Spirit's definitely saying to uh, balance out your work and your social life. Three of Cups at the Three of Pentacles. Some of you, if you socialize with your co-workers, people you work with, uh, Spirit's saying to be careful with what you say, okay? What you say to them. Um, because they may use that against you because you have a little mole here with a page of swords. Somebody may be spying on you, uh, waiting for you to slip up. So be a bit uh, vigilant when it comes to that, especially if you, if you hang out with the people you work with, okay? Just be careful. No matter how nice they are towards you, six of pentacles, ace of swords, they may use that against you. Uh, they just, they could be waiting to, waiting for you to slip up. And again, might use that against you. So balance that out to a pentacles here. You can you, you can hang out with people you work with, but you know, you have to be very mindful of what you say because Ace of Swords is right here, okay? Hmm. If this has something to do with your love situation, three of pentacles, if you're involved in a third party situation especially if you're involved in a third party situation i'm sensing i don't know whether it's you or your person but somebody here is curious somebody here is spying somebody here may be feeling suspicious of that situation okay intuitively may know that somebody has somebody else that's just for some of you three of cups can also indicate the party situation and six of pentacles somebody may be feeding another person i feel like the judgment here in my first this could be an indication of someone wondering if they should entertain another person as well but knowing and understanding that the rep repercussion of that will be getting cut off and will try i would say 
somebody is going to try not to make the wrong judgment call, not to get intimate with somebody, not to flirt with somebody, or not to get involved with somebody else, to avoid an ending with the death card here in lovebirds. Because somebody knows that the consequences will be this connection being um, the end. <laughs> this connection will end and will end permanently if somebody here finds out that this person has another someone. If they do entertain. But definitely sense the two of pentacles here. It's like someone is tempted, right? Weighing the pros and cons. Should I, should I try with this person? Should I do something with this person? Because there is a thought of wanting to, but knowing for sure it's going to be a wrong judgment call, and that would, and they will have to pay for the consequences with the death card here and love first. So this person has been thinking long and hard with the eight of swords. Hmm. But two of pentacles also can indicate a choice. For some of you, someone here may be thinking about you or your person, whether whether both of you should fix things or not, right? To give you or you give them an equal give and take sort of a relationship. Somebody could also be wondering if they should open up communication or speak the truth, tell the truth to avoid an ending or a permanent ending between the two of you. Whatever the case is, Leo, Aries and such, I definitely see a new beginning coming in for a lot of you. Ace of Cups could be a new beginning in love. There's a knight in shining armor with a knight of cups here. Somebody very romantic coming in, especially if you are single. Unless this is someone from your past returning and wanting to reconcile. Well, but both of you are not talking to each other right now. This person will come in. It feels like we'll try and heal this connection with the ten of swords and lovers. Alright, fire signs, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video. It's just me cooking. If you guys like to check it out, it's on the screen right now. Oh, another thing um, before I forget. I just posted something on my community page. Because um, I'm trying to do something different. And I really want to do many different questions reading every day. Because it makes me feel like it's something new. And so I don't get bored. And I was thinking maybe I should ask you guys. Okay, so um, you can ask any questions you want except health and except any inappropriate questions. And I'll consider choosing your question to be featured in one of these collective readings. So I will mention your name and the question in the intro of the reading and I'll do the reading. Not it, It's like almost personal reading, but it's not. Okay, um, but I have you in mind, so it might as well could be. But it's also collective reading for the rest of the signs, uh, depending right, uh, whether you have fire, water, earth, air. But um, if you want to, you can go to my community page and um, comment with your question, <laughs> okay? And uh, maybe I will feature your question. And But anyway, I'm excited to do that. Something different uh, keeps me going. Thank you so much for all of your love and support all of this while, and I really appreciate I really appreciate it, especially those of you who have been with me from the beginning till the end. Um, well, it's not the end yet, but until now. <laughs> but anyway, um, looking forward to your questions if you're interested. And also, I'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me. My information is in the description box below. Also, if you missed any of my readings, yesterday's reading, wow, I posted so many yesterday. Um, check it out, you may have missed it, because sometimes I post them in, um, in, how do you say, at the time, at the time where you guys are not really online, so you can see in the analytics, analytics, right, as in, you know, when my, what time most of you will be on, uh, my channel watching my videos, and sometimes I post it while it's not the peak, peak hours, <laughs> so that's why some of the uh, reading some of the videos will have lower views because not many of you are online that's not your peak time when you watch my videos but anyway if you've missed any you can click on that bonus reading um, bonus compilation reading just click on it scroll all the way down and look for your sign there could be some other important messages for you over there all right take care fire signs bye